Hello everyone, welcome to the video. This is a video I have been looking forward to. I tried to install Linux Mint the other day and it took my entire day because I did not know how to install it. So, but I learned and I am about to teach you what I have learned. So let's begin the installation process. First, I am using a virtualization technology to do all my installs. If you don't know how to turn on virtualization on your Windows, first you need to go to your BIOS and make sure that the virtualization technology is enabled. Second, you need to go into what? Your control panel. And you go to what? Programs and turn on Windows features on and off. This, you look in the list and make sure you find virtualization, Hyper-V. And turn it on once you do that you restart the pc and you'll be able to find hyper v manager when you type hyper v manager it will show up and this is how it will come up to me okay again for those of you who don't know how to turn on virtualization first you need to go to your bios second you need to enable virtualization technology on your control panel so control whether windows 10 or windows 11 you'll be able to find this programs then what turn on windows features on or off please make sure you find what virtualization in the list and check it once you've done that you click on ok it will finish adding the feature and then you restart the pc and then you'll be all set to go okay so the goal for this particular class is to teach you how to install linux mint like i said the other day i had so much trouble installing it and we're going to do it together okay so if you don't know how to create a virtual machine also, right click on this, click on what? New virtual machine. And you see new virtual machine, you go on, type the name of the virtual machine, whatever it's called. In this case, I already have the next minute, so I don't have to create it again, but let me take you through the process. Next, 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 next. You know, just change all the things that you don't want. Here you um, create the hard drive size for your program or for your software, next. Then from there, you choose what your solution disk, next you know once you're done with the process and you are okay with it you click on finish but we've done that already that is why we have linux mint over here so i'm going to take you through the features so you click on settings i right click on linux mint and select settings then from there you go to what the id the one that contains your drive this is where i'm going to attach the operating system in an iso file okay so then i browse to where the operating system is is my downloads i select the one that i want and there you are so i click ok now we are about to turn on the linux mint to begin the installation process so click on start let me make my screen bigger while that is done and please go down to oem install okay oem install these other ones we just started and run it like that okay but we want to install it okay so we do that and press what? Enter. So we're just waiting for it. This operating system is a little tricky. So I, that's why I'm taking my time to take you through it. So I'm still waiting. I, I gave the operating system and the, the PC um, 8 gigabyte of RAM, so it should be fast. This shouldn't take a long time at all. It should not. So that's a trick I use. So during the installation process for a virtual machine, I always give it the maximum memory as, as I can give because that will help me finish the process as fast as possible. And once that is done, then I always want reduce the size of the RAM, like bring it back to like one or two gigabyte but during the installation i give it as much as i can i gave this one eight gigabyte can you imagine how slow it is imagine you this is a linux operating system it's supposed to be a lot lot fast can you imagine giving it like two gigabyte or one gigabyte of ram to run this like you'll be there all day i'm telling you sorry guys i am having some little allergies with the weather so sometimes it's when i speak if you don't pay attention you will not even understand what i'm saying so sorry about that all right so once we're done so so done or if done i mean the bios just finished whatever it was doing 
and now we, the installation is about to begin so you click on english your language and or choose whatever language that you are familiar with then from there you just proceed next continue again keep on layout choose whatever that you preferred next continue Install multimedia codecs. Uh, no, continue. We don't need that. Okay. So it's saying that install Linux Mint alongside this, which was there. Or erase this and reinstall. Okay. Erase and install the next minute so here is what i want whatever that was there i've done it before but now i want to delete it okay so what else install now yes continue Okay, so you choose your time zone. I am in Chicago, so I'll select that and continue. Then here you create your computer name, okay? So I will call this one, I'll call it NAS Dungeon. Username is fine because it's OEM. We'll create our users once we're done with this process. This is just to help us get started. As you can see, the installation process is pretty fast because I gave it about 8 gigabyte of RAM, so it should be fast. I'm going to pause the video. Once the installation is complete, we'll come back to it. Guys, we're almost there. I mean, it took a while, like let's say about 15 minutes. It took that long. Um, so waiting. Yep, now you can see we just came right back on time so it's time to restart the operating system so restart press enter guys this is the most important part for those of you watching this is the most important part because your, your screen is going to continue to blink and blink and blink like this if you don't do anything if you press enter nothing happens press ctrl c nothing happens you need a combination of keys to bring you up to the login screen okay so press ctrl out and f2 this is how you log in so, what is my uh, login username? It's OEM. And what's the password? I created the one that I created. Now we are in the. This is the Linux Mint interface. So if you if you go to the description below, you will see the link to download any of the Linux um, distribution that I'm working on. I'm having um, Ubuntu. I have Linux Mint. I have Linux Alma Linux. So I put a um, the link to download the video on each of those in the description. Please follow that and then go download it. Um, create your virtual machine and let me know if you have been able to successfully install Linux Mint based on the what you've learned from this video. I appreciate you watching. Please click a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.